The bus stop where Stephen Lawrence was um, killed, it was literally a five minutes walk from where I used to live. And I used to use that, that very bus stop. And being a young black man myself, naturally I felt angry about the, the, the situation. Um, and I, well, very angry, and uh, the way his death came about. Wait a minute, first some reports, it, it's judged that the police has been introduced racist. I joined the police in uh, 2008, and the reason why I joined the police is um, I, I really wanted to have a job that gave me a ch challenge, gave me security, and also, um, I know it sounds corny, but I, I wanted to do something that I could feel, where I feel that I could make a difference. I haven't any seen any, any been treated any different, um, any kind of um, negative experiences from um, fellow colleagues, um, no. And, and that's purely, um, I think, because of the, the changes that have been made. This is Graham Park Estate. And not to say that, you know, it's a bad area, but it's, um, it's, a, it's a social housing area. I grew up here, been here 20, 20 something years now, you know. There were other officers, some officers are just like basically cunts, you know. They'd see you there, obviously being a young black youth on an estate, they'd just be like, oh, it's, um, we want to stop search you and all this, we have reason to. What reason to believe do you have to stop search me, you know? Because right about now, yeah, um, you're, you're making me feel like a aroused and harassed, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not like that, I've got though. a welcome attitude, Say that again? you know? You're different. How yeah. am I different? Because you come over with you a welcome like, attitude. Yeah, well, you don't, well, you talk black, you've talked Jamaican. It's not even about talking black, it's just your attitude. It's the way you come across people, you know. It's like that you, you make people want to talk to you. That dog looks jumpy, man. Lovely, my baby girl. You're going to bite me up, is it? I think I've seen, I see about, probably about 20%, really and truly, 20% of, of the police force here, yeah, I see them black officers actually patrolling themselves, yeah. If they're, they're not patrolling, they're always with a colleague in a car. But otherwise from that, you're probably the only black police officer I know that walks around on his own, really. There's going to be those who know you from a different light because you've arrested them or you dealt with them and they're not going to want to talk to you. But there's going to be those who have seen that you're just a, an everyday person like them and, and they forget about the uniform and they'll talk quite freely with you. It, it doesn't mean that you're black or white that you mm. want to search me. It just means that what's, your office, what's the officer's intention when he wants to search me, you know what I mean? How he deals with you, yeah. yeah. I've had a lot of... Um, comments from members of the community due to me, me being a black officer. I've had some really positive, good comments, but a lot of negatives as well. Um, referring me to a sellout, a traitor, um, you're disgraced, why are you wearing a uniform? And they say, well, why are you a police officer? Why shouldn't I be? This is a job to me. This is, and that's the way I look, this is a job. It's just the difference is I'm, I'm wearing a uniform, a police uniform, and I'm here to, here to, um, you know, deal with people who are doing things that they shouldn't be doing. I, I can understand. I, I, I'm a realist, and I'm a realist that um, not just not just um, black males, but w white white males or females, they've had some, shall I say, some experiences that, but maybe are not appropriate. Um, so I can understand their frustrations. I was actually um, stopped in the, the local area that I that I live, and they didn't know I was a police officer. And I didn't make it known I was a police officer. Um, they gave me reason to why they stopped me, which was a, a good, valid reason. What was that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they, they actually thought I was on my mobile phone, which I wasn't. Um, so uh, I, 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 I was, they were courteous and polite to me. They gave me a video, you know, said that you looked like you were on your phone. And you managed to persuade them that you weren't using your phone. I, I didn't persuade him, I told them I wasn't, which I wasn't. And they accepted it? Yeah, they did. I'm going to do a presentation to a group of pupils about a joint enterprise, which is um, about knife crime. Does anybody know about Stephen Lawrence? The kid, obviously a lot before your time, but does anybody have any knowledge about it? You do? Okay, excellent. excellent. What do you know? Um, he was killed because of his racial, his colour. Okay, excellent. Okay, all right. And that's the basis of it. <laughs> Joint enterprise is if somebody's killed, you can be charged with murder 
even if you're the person who hasn't actually used the knife or the weapon to kill that person. It's really sad, the, the fact that he was, his life was taken away because of his colour of his skin, and it's not fair. Uh, made me think about like if it's still going on now if like I will be racially discriminated because of my colour or whether I'll be attacked or abused. A friend of mine has been stopped and searched by the police and um, when you have the right to ask for the number of the police officer or some of their details the police officer wouldn't give it to him and um, therefore like it it was a bit of an issue so he spoke to some of his teachers about it because he had recently actually had a talk about your rights as a child and um, they said that he should like look into it. Your name sorry? Junior. Junior how many people did you see? About six. Six okay. All those people do you think they were involved? No they were just there at the party. They were just there at the party? Having a more diverse like police force would be like better because obviously London and England in general is more multicultural now so I think it would make people feel more comfortable. I don't think many police officers discriminate. I haven't experienced any like direct racism so I wouldn't say that I would say that's again it's gotten better, much better from what I've heard of the from accounts of the, at the time. I was living in Brixton time uh, of the Brixton riots you know, when you saw a police officer, you, you, you were scared. And I, I, I was scared at the time. It was just a uniform, it was uniform. No, I do not think there's a disproportionate amount of searching um, uh, within the black community. Some of the crimes that are happening is in a predominantly black area. Police in Brixton, I've policed it, um, in Elmfield, um, in Brent Borough. That area is a predominantly black area, so you're gonna, more black youths are going to be stopped, or black, black youths, females, it's just natural. And I, I think it's um, been done quite proportionately. How long do you think it will take for somebody in one of their positions in the future to be a black officer or non-white officer? I've certainly, there's evidence that you'll see more ethnic minorities progressing through the ranks. Um, I've seen um, black uh, chief superintendents Going through the ranks, you have to have the relevant skills to promote um, to progress. So it could be the case that certain certain ethnic minorities, maybe not all of them, I can't say that because it's every evidence that some have moved on, but maybe not certain certain officers um, from ethnic minority background maybe possess those skills or the qualifications because there's a promotion structure. They um, they have to um, sit certain examinations and maybe they haven't they haven't fulfilled that. I don't know. Things have changed. A lot of people have done things, they've seen where things have gone wrong and changes have been made. Um, change where the police are reaching out more into the community. Whether there'll be um, another racially motivated um, incident, I don't know.